I'm a widower and want to go out with my wife's female friend. How to approach this? Hey, we should get together and grab a drink sometime. Simple as that. Ask her out on a date. And then when you're out on a date, is she playing with her hair? Is she bumping into you? Is she touching your arm? Does she seem excited to be there? Is her body language leaning towards you or away from you? All the stuff I talk about in the book. And if you're worried about, hey, does this girl like me? Does she want to kiss me or not? You do the kiss test. And if she looks at your lip, lips while you're, anytime you're doing the kiss test, then that means she wants to kiss you. And you, So you literally can take her out for drinks and look for the signs in her body language that she's attracted to you. And then when the signs are there, make your move. You don't have to worry about rejection. She'll kiss you back. Hang out, have fun, hook up. Simple as that. You can Just help each other you. with your grief therapy. It's just weird. I've never heard of that before. Where it's like the Why he's a widower can't. and he's going out with his late wife's friends. It happens in movies a lot. Um, or vice versa. I've never heard of that. Happening. Well, look at well, uh, with Shania Twain, the famous country singer. She was married to Mutt Lang, who was the producer for like ACDC, mm -hmm. Def Leppard, these huge big bands from the the eighties that were just you know the biggest in the world. And he started working with her to help her produce music. They fell in love. And I think they had a family together. And then her husband, Mutt Lang, started sleeping with her female best friend and had an affair. And then um, her best friend leaves her husband. And then Mutt Lang and her, her former female best friend got together. So obviously Shania Twain got divorced. Who died? And then at some point, Shania Twain starts dating her former female best friend's now ex-husband. Where's the widow? And uh, there was no widow in this story. And then what the they're widow? married. They're married today. So yeah, but this is about it's about widow. This is, he's a widower and he wants to go out with his fem uh, wife. I answered female. the question in the beginning. Were you guys not paying attention? Yeah, no, but what I don't does think that have to do? We should get together for a drink sometime. That's all you got to suggest. It's just the concept of like having a a, a friend uh, appear. That was a web of yeah, lies. That's really yeah. random. Yeah. Well, with the Shania Twain thing, that really, yeah, that, that really was, was that's like woo. But it's yeah. funny, like they just basically they swapped switched. partners. Yeah, a swap, swap, <laughs> swap back. It's like, if my friend did it, why can't I? Yeah, I'm not really. Or ex-friend. I don't know. I, I, just, I feel like um, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's every Sometimes you develop different feelings, and after a long period of time. At the end of the day, his wife is gone, is and if she, she loved him, yeah. I would think she would. Like, I want you to be happy. Is she going to get angry? She's going to come back and haunt <laughs> She's going to get angry. Yeah, haunt, haunt his house. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna open the door and let the dog in while you're when, when the shower's dog, fogging up dog. the mirror in the bathroom yeah. she starts writing nasty messages Ghost on writing. that'd be pretty freaky I'm not, I'm not liking this where it's going for me um no i do know a widow uh that ended up getting remarried um who she got remarried to i don't think it was a friend but i think it was a friend of a friend and they're still married today so I think it can work. I just don't know. Attraction is not a choice. If there's already an attraction there and the reality is I'll, I'd say most women have female friends that would totally sleep with their boyfriend or their husband if they weren't in the picture anymore. It's just. It That's happens. why I'm very specific on like, who I hang out with. Like yeah. attracts like. People that like the same things tend to like each other. Like, I keep my circle really small, so there's never, like, that opportunity of, like, I have a boyfriend and he low-key thinks my friend is cute or something like that. Like He won't tell you. I would never, like, imagine in the future you'll find out, like, oh, hey, like, remember that guy you used to date? We're together now. I'd be like, okay, we're not friends anymore. Like, yeah. girl code to yeah, the max. Girl it has to be girl code. But what first. if she comes to you and says, hey, your ex-boyfriend asked me out, mm -hmm. and I'd like to go out with him, but only with your blessing. Yeah, but if y'all are really good friends, then... No. She would see I'm, him like... Like, personally, me, whoever my friends date, they're automatically, like, ill. Like, it's off limits. This is, like, a, you're, like, They're Ill. definitely ill, yeah. I agree. Yeah. And I would never even remotely think, like, hey, can I talk to your... No. It's like, just off limits. There's so it's many people code. in this world that, like, why do you have to go for the person I used to date? 
or have like a relationship. Tracks, like, you have to be boyfriend other. and girlfriend, though. If you were just maybe they were, up yeah. friends, maybe they were out having drinks yeah. or at a party, and they just started talking, and the chemistry was there, and it's girl a couple code. drinks. If you let maybe it been two or three fine. years, and you know you had no idea what the ex was up to. Mm -hmm. Maybe you hadn't been in contact with that friend very. Often. Maybe you used to work with her. Maybe she was a next door neighbor, and moved away or something. And ran into your ex-boyfriend at a bar someplace, and they ended up hooking up. No. It happens. If we're really close. Life is messy. If we're really no. close and my my name doesn't pop up in your head when you're developing a connection, then we're not really friends. Because you would take my feelings into consideration first. Like, ooh, no. like. And what if she came to you and asked for your blessing? Then you're not my friend. Would you say... My friend would know not to ask me such stupid questions you like You would that. just say, I'm ending the friendship. I'm yeah. never speaking like, to Honestly, again. like, if that's how you feel, if you're attracted to him, I mean, I have no business being with you because that was my past. And Savage. No, thank you. But what if you were on good terms with your ex? What if you were, like, just grew apart? And you're like, eh. What if you dumped him? I've dumped that's all of them. Question. I've dumped all of them. So it's just like, I just... There's but too wouldn't many that be a different world. case, though? No. A different case. So if you dumped him, what would you care? I mean, I had my ex-wife dated several of my friends, one of them for a couple of years. And I was happy about it. I was happy for her. I was the one that left her. I wanted her to be happy. Like I removed him out of my life for a reason. And if my friend is going to bring him back into my life, because we're friends, we're bound to all hang out again. So he was a bad boyfriend. He was a bad boyfriend. So in other words, he's not somebody that you respect and admire, but you're like, yeah, we just don't it's click. It's still the same concept. Like we're if me and my friend are close and she starts talking to an ex that even if we were on bad terms, he's going to be brought back into my life because they're dating. Because we're going to have what Christmas event? She's going to be like, can I bring my boyfriend? I'm like, what if you were on good terms with him? What if you liked him and thought he was a good dude? Maybe you friends on him because you just weren't feeling a spark. Yet again, even if we're on good terms, bad terms, I don't want She doesn't want, want her past to... Like, I've moved period. on, so I don't want his image, his presence in my life anymore. So that, means that implies that you don't like him. As my as friends. Person. No, because let's say I'm in a new relationship. Like, my relationship doesn't want to hear anything of him. So why would my friend bring that history back into my life? So but that's why. in a good, healthy, like, new relationship, I don't think anything from your past should affect it, too. You it's know what I mean? It's just a mindset. It's just like, let's say we're not friends anymore. Like, and I don't want anything to do with you, but yet my guy best friend starts dating you. I'm just like, okay, well, I don't want her to be in my life anymore. Like, it's just like, I don't, like, my relationship with him would just end because I don't want that. Basically, for her, the past is in the past and yeah. she's, it's basically like it never happened. So like, it happened, that but it was a good time, short time, but that's... What if it was a guy you just hooked I, up with? A dude was like a former friend of benefits. We weren't like, dating. You know, if it was just like a little flame, then whatever. Yeah, like, the, I don't then care. you wouldn't care. Yeah, I wouldn't care. But just if like, he had the official title as yeah. Caroline's boyfriend, at yeah, because I don't just date to date. Like if I'm dating someone, it's real. So that's different than just a little. You used to go out here and there. Also, you'd date. be surprised. There's guys that you can currently, um, for example, uh, my current boyfriend does not like my ex. He's met him before and stuff. So there's guys out there that even current boyfriends maybe they can't stand the ex and they just don't want to look at their faces mm -hmm. too. Was You'd that be because surprised. that they know like what your previous ex has done to hurt you in the past? Yeah, it could it could depend. So on that's that like too. a respect thing, and I actually can respect that. Yeah, y'all are some catty ass people. Well, There's I know I'm different. I have a more completely Look, open I type of idea towards that. I have I had girlfriends that after we split up, I've set them up with friends on dates. I don't think I've done that, but most of my exes and I are on pretty good terms. So, I mean, if they want to, today, if they want to go bang my friends, I salute you. Go do it. But don't don't think that we're going to all sit around a table and sing Kumbaya. Oh, so that... You, no, I mean, like, I just... blow the friendship up if it happened, huh? No, I just, I think that's kind of disrespectful, like, what Caroline's saying. Like, I don't want to, I don't... I don't want to do that, but go fuck my friend. Like, by all means, I think you deserve to be happy. Just don't think that you're bringing that into like at a distance. Like, you guys go do your thing. Yeah, go do your thing, but like, I'm don't bring anymore. that to like near you. my zone. Yeah. Like, don't bring that into my zen. Like, I'm cool with it. I'm truly cool with it. 
we can hang out at a party, but like at a small table, I don't know about that. My table's pretty small. Yeah, well, you have you met Mike's brother, Sean? Have you met him before? Dr. Mike, we're talking about here. So my, um, I remember I was living in Orlando and I came down and, to stay with Sean. It was like during the holidays. And uh, this, this, has got a, this is over 20 years ago. So we came down, we're hanging out, and I was like, hey, what, what's Alex up to? Alex was another friend of ours from high school. And I was like, well, we should all get together. And he's like, um, I got something to tell you. <laughs> and so he tells me that Alex is dating my ex-wife and had been for like a year. I was like, I was like, well, why didn't he tell me? He says, he thought you'd be pissed. I was like, pissed? I was like, I left her. I want her to be happy. It's like, I love, I love both of them. I was like, let's all get together. And so we ended up going to Solid Gold, myself, Sean, Alex, and my ex-wife. Strip clubs are like a neutral ground. And then we went to Denny's afterwards at like 3 in the morning. Well, that's kind of like and an They dated, exception. I don't know, a year or two after that. But I just thought, to me, I thought it was ridiculous that he kept that from me. But he was afraid I'd be mad and want to beat his ass. No. Strip clubs are totally like neutral because like. There's all kinds of stuff happening in there. And then like Denny's afterwards, it's still kind of like a neutral ground. Something that might be had to your belly. It was fun. It was fun night. <laughs> exactly. Um, are so catty. No, I mean like that's neutral. Like that and like catty 11. And like minded That's all cool. Possessive. But anything past that? It's just awkward. Like I, I literally just thought about a situation where like I was – not even talking to this guy. We just found each other attractive and all we ever did was like kiss and stuff. Nothing more. And my friend, my girlfriend, who I'm really close with, um, she found him cute. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. Like, I don't, we never date or anything. I'm like, whatever. Like, he is cute. I try to hook them up and then we go out on like a double date with Joshua. And he's like, Joshua had no idea that me and this guy like used to like make out and stuff like that. And um, we're all at the Was he pool. not happy when he found out? He tells me this later on after, like, having a double date with the girl and him and, like, at the pool and stuff. He's like, were you guys a thing or something? Like, I just see the way you guys look at each other. Like, there's a weird vibe going on. I was like, I forgot to tell you. But, yeah, we did. And then he said that the girl, my friend, had mentioned something, too. Like, did, were they a thing? Because there's, like, a weird, like, I'm just like, yeah, we were. But I don't care. And, like, we never hooked up like that. And then after that it's just like the vibe is weird like we just look at each other and we know there was a history even though we're not attracted anymore there's just like something there's a turd in a bunch pool now yeah it's just like uh i don't think he's cute anymore like i would rather have someone you've never even touched you know yeah it's just a weird vibe why didn't you tell them in the first place though uh, cause I didn't want to be awkward. Caroline has I just a know lot that would have been a turn off for them yeah. automatically. I know. A lot of dark secrets. The girl would have been like, ah, eh. but I'm like, if they like each other, I'm not going to ruin it, you know? Mm. But then I didn't have to say a beep. Did they talk after that? So you guys don't double bit. date anymore, apparently. We tried, but it was just like weird. Well, now Josh was thinking, that guy's kissed my girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, every time, time I look at like, him. <laughs> I'm wondering where it was happening. Was it at the park? Where is it here? Was it in the car? Where did it go down? It was in the car. Was it in the car? <laughs> was it in the seat of the car? <laughs> was it was it in the movies? <laughs> was it on the couch? The, was it, was it on the, the seat? Seat? couch? I'm sitting like right, right now. Sir, would you like to order? Sir, would you like to order? <laughs> huh? Did I'm they sorry, do you while they were at dinner? <laughs> <laughs> was it at this restaurant? In the same seat I'm sitting at? <laughs> were we at the same table? table? <laughs> they ate here before. They ate here before. <laughs> this same table. <laughs> <laughs> we can never eat anywhere here ever again. <laughs> We're moving cities. Next he's like running down the block. Like, <laughs> the whole city. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Getting rid of Rona Randy. <laughs> oh, my God. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh.